invented by Henry Edmund Gaskin Boyle, a British anesthetist, in 1917, the Boyle's machine is the first anesthetic machine to be used in the world and is still used in different parts of developing countries. As you can see here, it has the oxygen cylinders, the nitrous oxide cylinders, the cylinder pressure gauge, cylinder valves, the rotameter, the vaporizers, the pressure relief valve, oxygen flush, and the common gas outlet. In this video, we will be looking into the details of different parts of the Boyle's machine. Boyle's machine is divided into three pressure zones. High pressure zone, intermediate pressure zone, and low pressure zone. The high pressure zone starts from the gas cylinders to the pressure reducing valves. The intermediate pressure zone starts from the pressure reducing valve till the flow meter. From the flow meter to the common gas outlet is a low pressure zone. Now the gas cylinders. The cylinders are named type A through H. H being the largest cylinder and type A being the smallest. Here in Boyle's machine, type E is used. Different color system are used for different gases. Black body and white shoulder for oxygen. Blue for nitrous oxide. Gray color for carbon dioxide, brown color for helium, a blue body and white shoulder for antonox that is a combination of oxygen and nitrous oxide, orange color for cyclopropane, a black color for nitrogen, a black and white color for air, and Suction is usually coated yellow. Now, on top of each cylinder is a cylinder valve. To open the cylinder, you need to rotate the cylinder valve anti clockwise. And to close the cylinder, you need to rotate the cylinder valve clockwise. There are different types of cylinder valves, but the most common one is a flush type. The pressure gauge of each cylinder indicates the cylinder pressure, and the most common type is Bourdon type. Now, coming to the yolk assembly, it is a portion of the machine at which cylinders get fitted. It has got an index pins, a gas seal and a filter. These index pins are part of the pin index safety system. These are two pins 4 mm and 6 mm long on yoke of the anesthesia machine which is a safety mechanism so that one cylinder cannot be fitted at the other's position. Holes corresponding to pins are made at different position on the cylinder valves. For oxygen, the holes are made at 
position 2 and 5 for nitrous oxide at position 3 and 5 and for cyclopropane at positions 3 and 6 and for air it is made at position 1 and 5 and for nitrogen it is made at positions 1 and 4 and for antonox only one hole is made at position 7 and for carbon dioxide less than 7.5 percent the holes are made at position 2 and 6 and for carbon dioxide of uh, concentration more than 7.5 percent the holes are made at positions 1 and 6 so different gas cylinders have different holes positions on the cylinder valves so that one gas cylinder cannot be fitted to another gas position on the yoke now looking into the oxygen cylinder it has a pressure of 2000 psi that is pound per square inch containing 660 liters of oxygen the pressure in the oxygen cylinder falls in proportion to the content that is the oxygen volume so if the cylinder gauge is showing 1000 psi that means there is half of the oxygen in the cylinder that is around 330 liters of oxygen however in case of nitrous oxide cylinders since it is kept in liquefied form the pressure remains constant until all liquid turns into gas that is the pressure of the nitrous oxide cylinder does not fall until 75% of the content are empty that is to say the pressure gauge of the nitrous oxide cylinder does not tell you the real volume of nitrous oxide it has inside the cylinder so in order to know the amount of liquid left inside the nitrous oxide cylinder we need to weigh the cylinder the nitrous oxide cylinder has 750 pound per square inch pressure and 1590 liters of nitrous oxide after the gas cylinders the next important feature of the boilers machine is the pressure reducing valves the pressure reducing valves reduce the high pressure of the gas cylinders 2000 psi in case of oxygen cylinders and 750 psi in case of the nitrous oxide cylinders into 45 to 47 psi in newer machines there are a second pressure reducing valves which reduce further the pressure to 15 to 25 psi here it is important to note that a central pipeline supply of gas has a 50 psi of pressure so there is a preferable use of pipeline supply even if backup cylinders are open unless the central pipeline pressure falls below 45 psi that is to say the central pipeline supply pressure falls below the backup 
cylinder presses. Now coming into the flow meters. Each flow meter tube is gas specific. That is the tubes are different for different gases. The flow meter tubes are transparent and they are tapered. That is narrow base and a wider top. They are called Thorpe's tubes. Each tube has a floating bobbin which rotates as the gas flows. A bobbin is made of aluminium and is anti-static to prevent sticking to the wall of the flow meter. The upper end of the bobbin determines the flow rate. The flow to each tube is adjusted by flow control knob which are made up of different colors for different gases blue for nitrous oxide white for oxygen gray for carbon dioxide the flow meter has a fluorescent bag which helps in visualizing in the dark another feature of the boilers machine is oxygen flush this is an emergency oxygen supply channel which bypasses the flow meters and the vaporizers to deliver oxygen at 35 to 75 liters per minute at a pressure of 45 to 55 psi it however does not bypass the first pressure reducing valves otherwise the lungs may explode one more feature of the boils machine is oxygen nitrous lock this feature provides that if oxygen flow decreases because of the oxygen cylinder being exhausted, nitrous oxide flow will also increase automatically and nitrous oxide flow starts only after 2 to 3 liters of oxygen flow already delivered to the patient so that it is not possible to deliver only nitrous oxide to the patient. Now let us enumerate the safety features of Boyle's machine. Number one, anti-static rubber tires to prevent current flow. Number two, pin index safety system number three pressure reducing valve number four color coding of flow control knobs number five oxygen failure alarm number six oxygen nitrous oxide lock number seven fluorescent back panel of rotameter number eight pressure relief valve number nine oxygen flush and finally the tri-alien lock for closed circuits <laughs>